what it is. Welcome to my son golf. Yeah, there well, you go. California. That's California. even nicer for me. Uh, that's where I used to live too. All right. Roxanne DePalm is here, and we have very few left of this very popular item from Carolyn's Garden Party show. If you guys watch my shows on Tuesday mornings at 9 during this season, it's all about gardening, and a lot of the things from that show have sold out already this season. This is one that you can still get your hands on if you hurry. It's a set of two of the best hummingbird feeders you're ever going to find. They are not plastic. They don't get cloudy and faded and cracked and falling apart like a lot of them that you maybe can use for a season and then you have to throw them away. They're also very easy to clean because you want to keep them clean every once in a while. You don't want your little buzzy, buzzy birds drinking something that's contaminated. Moldy. Yeah. So you get two silhouettes, two shapes, both in that hummingbird attracting red glass. We also send you a little recipe card of the easy to make home mix that goes in it. You don't want to fill these up with the red food dye colored stuff. That's not what you should be feeding your hummingbirds. Uh, so this is really easy to do. And you get both and they're really, Roxanne, so nicely made. Well, you know what, Carolyn, I love hummingbirds. You know, they're very dear and near to my heart. So I went out and got a better mousetrap. Now, y'all yeah. can go buy cheap and, and we all know where there. cheap ends up, right? Yeah, Okay. It's yucky. Um, that's why when we designed this, we made it out of glass. It's not out of plastic. Mm -hmm. It's easy to clean. It holds up to four cups of nectar. And I, like Carolyn just said, I give you the nectar recipe. Guys, don't go buy the red stuff. No. Okay, it's really that. bad for them. The, as you see here, I have a nice wide opening. Why? Because it will get moldy in there and the sugar water will go moldy. This way you can get a nice big bottle brush in there. Mm -hmm. And then you're just going to screw it right back on. And then um, my other place that's very near and dear to my heart, I love Hawaii. Uh -huh. So I put the little hibiscus flowers in Cute. red there. And then, as you see, each flower has its own perch. Why, Carolyn? Because a hummingbird. Um, takes and flutters its wings up to 80 times a second, over 4,000 times a minute. So they need to rest, so okay? They will hover and drink, but now you've got, got a little stand for them to pop their little uh, feet on for a, a moment or two. Let me tell you something, this set sells for $50 on Roxanne's site, and it sells quickly. And once ours are gone, that's where you'll have yeah. to get them for that price. So our price today is $33.50, two easy payments of $16.75. That's an actual video. In my backyard. In your backyard of these guys enjoying them. A lot of people are buying more than one set. If you've got an area in your yard where you'd like to put multiples of these, remember hummingbirds are very territorial. So once they know that yours is a yard that has some place to have a wonderful meal, they're gonna keep coming back. Every year they're gonna remember and come back to your yard. And aren't they just a joy to watch? You know what, Carolyn, um, my little mommy who's up in heaven would sit in my backyard in California. We have hummingbirds all year round there. Mm. And so at five o'clock every day, I have this one hummingbird that attacks my yard. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's my little mama Rita. Okay, so that's my little hummingbird Aww, story. I love but, it. Okay, so let's go into where you're gonna place these. Okay, you're gonna get the Bernini Fountain, put it close to there. Yeah. They love the water. Mm -hmm. Are you getting the Roberta's um, uh, peonies? Yes. If you have the Cottage Farm Butterfly Flutterby, mm -hmm. put them close to there. They will come. The red will be attractive to them and they are going to just flock to these guys. Court Walleen has these exact ones in his backyard. He says, Roxanne, I have 10 to 12 hummingbirds a night. But look at this, guys. I have the resting spot. I made it a nice amount, so you're not filling this every other day or so. Um, one of the comments, one of the five-star um, remarks on this, Roxanne, I just got this a week ago, and I've already had to fill it. And you're getting a set of two. They'll so come to it. They'll drink it. They'll drink guys, it. Um, let me tell you, too, they're these beautiful old-fashioned apothecary jar designs. They're done in glass. This one has, uh, the, the one you're looking at, has that sort of a, a, a cone. bottle, yeah. cone shape, like mm -hmm. an old-fashioned perfume bottle. And then the other one has that columned look uh, that's very architectural. They're easy to fill. They're easy to clean. The uh, recipe is just, you're mixing uh, sugar and water, and then you want to 
microwave it because that will uh, uh, heat it up so that it stays mixed. You exactly. don't want all the sugar settling to the bottom of the of the jar. And it's a super easy recipe. You can make yourself. You don't have to go buy the nectar for it. And they will love the red color and they will keep coming back and back and back. Especially because these have a little place to stand and take a little sippy. Uh huh. If they're very territorial, Carolyn, mm -hmm. and so if if they remember that they're coming back to your, they're going to come year after year after year after year. Mm -hmm. Again, I want to show. Look at how wide this is, so you can get in there and clean it. It holds up to four cups of nectar, which I give you that recipe. And then the bottom section comes apart. Just take and rinse it out, wash it out, and then screw it back together. Easy breezy, guys. Yeah. They look like huge jewels They're in beautiful. your garden. And you don't want to hang some tacky plastic thing out in your trees. Oh, gosh, no. Or on your hooks on your porch. You want something pretty. So you get two of them. You can go buy a shepherd's hook like this at any hardware store if you want to do this whole design right here. But you can hang them from all your plant hangers and any little hook in the garden. They're such a they great value. Um, and remember, our price today is two payments of $16.75. <gasps> and how many are gone now, Frank? 700 sets now ordered. We don't have many of these left to go around. We are officially in limited mode on what we have for the season on these hummingbird feeders that I think are so nice. Roxanne, thank you. You're welcome. Are you back at all today? Um, not today, okay. but um, Q2 Monday okay. night okay. and then Tuesday morning, awesome. 6 a.m. Yay. 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 Garden right. day. Thanks, honey. Thanks. All right. Happy so, Palm Sunday, everybody. Thank you. I got my palms last night. Did 530 you? mass. Oh, mm -hmm. you're such a... All right, so uh, we want you to check out today's next big thing. Search Big Idea on QVC.com to shop products from great inventors, maybe someone you know. Plus, tune into the Today Show starting Tuesday, April 18th to see all of our finalists. You can search Big Idea on QVC.com right now to see who's going to be in that. All right, so we're going to go to our big board. We want to go to Facebook. My page is Carolyn Gracie QVC. And um, we want you to look for my picture of Amber. That's my adopted Cocker Spaniel. She just turned seven. She just had a birthday. And she's chewing on her Benebone, which is coming up in our show today. Uh, very, very good dental chew for your dogs. Uh, but we wanted to know what your dogs like to chew on. Maybe something not appropriate like a Benebone. So here's Amy who says, Dustin, one of our foster failure kitties, uh, chewing on the remote control. Oh no, kitty. Why do cats love to chew on remotes? Mine do the same thing. And then we had uh, Deborah who says, here's Romeo with some Frisbees. Good dog. Now he knows what he's supposed to chew on. That's a very smart little boy. And then Julie says, here's Riley who's trying to get the Easter candy. Well, that's because he thinks he's the Easter bunny with those ears, see? What a cutie. All right, so keep posting pictures of your pets and things they love to chew. Maybe not 